Imagine this: you have been a game developer for over 10 years. You've mastered Unity, shipped a few titles, and made a good living out of it. And then one day, your boss walks up to you and says, "Hey, you are out. We're replacing you with AI." It sounds like a nightmare, but that scenario is becoming very real very fast. And as the old saying goes, "If you cannot beat them, join them." Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a game by just talking to an AI. The tech behind all of this is called MCP. I'll explain what it is and why it's quickly becoming the standard interface between AI and modern applications at the end of the video. It's a super important technology to understand, but first, let's dive into the tutorial. To get AI to make a game for you, there are four essential tools you need. First, install Unity. And make sure it's the latest version, 6.0. I've tested out on other versions; they do not work properly. Second, install Python. Third, set up Cloud Desktop. And finally, install the UV Package Manager. And now, let me walk you through the detailed process. The very first step is to install Python. The process is fairly simple. Go to Python's official website and download the latest version. During installation, make sure to add Python to your system pass. If you do not know how to do it, I have a tutorial link in the description. After installing Python, next let's install UV Package Manager. UV Package Manager is a tool that helps you easily install and manage different software packages or plugins for your game project. On Windows, to install the Package Manager, just open up a terminal. Then go back to the GitHub page, copy and paste these two commands into the terminal. I done that already. To verify it's properly installed, just hit uv dash dash version. You should see this. Okay, next let's install Unity. To install Unity, go to unity dot com slash download and install Unity Hub. Unity Hub is basically a tool for us to install different Unity versions. For this to work, you need to have Unity 6. So click on Installs, and then click on Install Editor. Here, download Unity 6. I have tested out on other Unity versions; they do not work. After installing Unity 6, go to Window, click on Package Manager, and then. Click on this plus sign here. Click on Install Package from Git URL. For the URL, go back to the GitHub page. Click on Code and copy this URL here. Then hit Install. After installing it, you should see Unity MCP. After installing it, go to Window. And now you should see Unity MCP here. Click on it. This is MCP editor. Here are the things you need to pay attention to. First, make sure the Python server is connected. Make sure Unity MCP bridge is running. And if you're using Cloud Desktop, make sure the pass is properly configured. So here it says incorrect pass. I'm gonna click on Auto Configure Cloud Desktop. Okay, the Unity part is done. Now let's set up Cloud Desktop. Open up Cloud. Click on Cloud. Go to Settings. Here you will see the Settings page. Click on Developer. And now under Edit Config, you should see Unity MCP, and that means Cloud is set up properly. Okay, now let's run a simple experiment. Let's create a cube in Unity Scene. Okay, if you go back to Unity, you should see a cube in the middle of the scene. So this means everything works properly. Now let's have some fun. Let's build a small game using Unity MCP. Here I'm making a 3D platformer, and as you can see, I didn't touch a thing. AI is doing all the work. All right, that's it for the MCP tutorial. So what the heck is MCP? It stands for Model Context Protocol, a wild new tool that connects large language models like Cloud or GPT. To basically any application, Unity included, 
Yeah, it's early stage, but it's already insanely powerful. You can literally describe what you want. The AI builds it. No code, no weird setup, just straight up magic. This thing is blowing up, and honestly, it has the potential to replace huge chunks of what we think as game development today. So as game developers, let's learn it, experiment with it, and evolve with it. Follow this channel if you want to stay ahead of the curve.